Hey robot makers, do you want to know about the new Raspberry Pi Zero 2 that's just been launched? This isn't it, this is actually just a Raspberry Pi Zero, the original one. The 2 is in the post. So let's have a look what this is all about. So yes, the Raspberry Pi Foundation have just launched this morning the Raspberry Pi Zero 2, which is a $15 computer. The Raspberry Pi say that they've sold close to 4 million zeros worldwide since the launch six years ago. And the new Raspberry Pi Zero 2 is priced at around $15, depending which country you're in. It's based on the same BCM 2710A1 system on a chip as the original Raspberry Pi 3. And it runs at 1 GHz, which is slightly slower than the Raspberry Pi 3, but this means that they can handle the heat a lot better. It does have the same 512 megs of RAM that the original one has. <gasps> Uh, we'll talk about that later, but it's about five times faster than the original Zero. So let's have a look at more detailed technical specs. So it runs on the BCM 2710A1, which is a quad-core 64-bit chip. It has an ARM Cortex-A53 running at 1 GHz. It does have that same 512 megs of RAM, and it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board as well. Bluetooth 4.2, the low-energy version. It's got one USB 2 interface with on-the-go charging. It has a HAT-compatible 40-pin I.O. footprint, which is compatible with all the original Raspberry Pi accessories. It has a micro SD card and a mini HDMI port. It has composite video and reset solder pinpoints as well. So if you want composite video, you'll have to solder onto the board. It has a CSI2 camera connector as well and it's also got hardware for encoding and decoding h264 video and finally it's gl es 1.1 and 2.0 graphics compatible too it's in the same form factor as the original raspberry pi which means all your accessories and cases will work with this as well and power consumption wise it does use twice as much power as the original pi zero the original zero would idle around 0.42 watts and under full stress and using the wi-fi would be about 0.83 watts whereas the raspberry pi zero two uses 0.83 watts idle and just over 2.1 watts full wi-fi usage uh, and under stress so it's about twice as much power usage now the guy that designed the original broadcom chip uh, the bcm 2763 10 years ago actually joined the raspberry pi organization that's simon martin and he's responsible for designing quite a few of the really cool products there such as the high definition camera the keyboard the official keyboard and mouse so he also created the rp30a which is the new system in the package used in the bcm 2837a1 chip so one of the cool things that simon did was when he was designing the ball grid array when you connect the chip to the pcb so the pins on the very outside of the chip are usually high speed io pins but the ones in the middle tend to be for things like ground and voltage so because they're not critical in where they're placed simon created uh, the raspberry pi logo which you can see there in red on the screen in the middle of the chip so that's quite cool you wouldn't know that unless you managed to sort of etch away the, the silicon or you took an x-ray so next to the rp3a0 package is the little shield they call this a can and this protects the wireless circuitry the bluetooth and the wi-fi from interfering with the the main chip itself and also for keeping any sort of extraneous radiation from uh, interfering with other anything else around the area this does require fcc approval in the us and that kind of certification does take a little bit of time this is why launch it's only available in the us the um, uk canada and hong kong and so other countries will be available shortly as well because it uses twice as much power as the original raspberry pi zero they've had to launch a new Raspberry Pi Zero 2 power supply. And this new power supply comes with a 2.5 amps at peak current. It's a little bit overkill for the Raspberry Pi Zero 2, but you'll also have this handy if you have a Raspberry Pi 3B or B+. It works with that as well. It has a micro USB connector on the end rather than the USB-C connector that you see in the Raspberry Pi 4. So availability, it's not immune to the global semiconductor shortage. So today, which is the 28th of October, the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 is available in the United Kingdom, uh, the EU, the United States, Canada, and Hong Kong. And other countries such as Australia and New Zealand will be coming shortly in November. This is again due to the, uh, the wireless regulation there. So the first run, they've produced over 200,000 units. And they're gonna roughly ship this calendar year. And then in the next quarter, they've got an, about another quarter of a million units to ship. Maybe a little bit constrained to begin with and that was certainly true when the original Raspberry Pi Zero came out as well. They are actually launching this on the front of the Raspberry Pi magazine as well so if you are lucky enough to subscribe to that already you'll be getting that through the posters. So let's talk about that RAM size shall we? It's not great but it's okay. So the original Raspberry Pi Zero came with 512 megs of RAM. On a 32-bit computer this is passable if not a bit tight. On a 64-bit computer this becomes a real challenge particularly for larger programs that use a lot more memory. It's all about the trade-off. They tried to keep the price really really low so it can be used in education for a $15 computer this is still great value for money but there'll be some people complaining that this isn't enough memory well you can upgrade to a different size of board I mean if it's about the RAM then go for the 8 gig Raspberry Pi 4 so don't forget this runs a full 
Orbit operating system. Check out Jeff Greeling's review. He managed to get hold of one of these units early, so he's reviewed it and he's done some benchmarks on there. He even paid for an x-ray of the chip so you could see all the really small connections in there. So that was pretty awesome that he did that. When I grow up, I want to be like Jeff too. He's one of my heroes. So I hope you like this quick review of the Raspberry Pi Zero 2. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on one of these and I certainly can't wait to get this into one of our robots and see what we can do with 64 bits of power on such a small form factor. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.